But again, there's still a couple minutes here. Is there a winner for one of these sides? Ooh, that's a tough tackle here. Powell, remember, she was questionable going into this game. She's in some pain as she's holding her leg, and Matera also playing on a yellow. Yeah, this is a, it's a tough tackle to go into right here already with the yellow card. I think we're going to see red. Yeah, yeah we are. A red card for Matera. Man, you know, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> Bring it. I wish, like sometimes I just wish I was born like 10 years later or 15 years later and I could be playing in this league. Whoa, second yellow. What? And Louisville is down a player the rest of the way. Wow. That's changed the entire dynamic. Uh, well, I've got that handy too. That is the 63rd red card in league history, and DeMello is off with about 20 minutes to play. Yeah. So she gets under the ball after the whistle and kicked it away, and that's the, the yellow. Hopped around, Sullivan. Pushes it. Here's Rodman. Works her way around. It's got to be a card, hasn't it? Brought down there. Again, Rodman's pace, absolutely electric. Left with no chance but to bring her down on the edge of the box. Oh, it's a red. Because she was straight through on goal. So that is the call. Like you said, a red card straight for Rika Yamsa. She's right, the referee. There was no cover. Calls it spot on. So I don't think this will be overturned. It wasn't much, to be fair. But... And 100% humidity, regardless of whether the sun is down or not. But we'll see. Like I said, this is a chess match. Play it smart. Give it away almost, and King is taken down. Free kick coming for O.L. Reign. Oh, wow. Wow! This changes a lot. <laughs> Houston what? down to 10. Wow! This is a game that if it got extended 180, I'm not sure the players would care for that, but we'd watch. Trouble with Bennett chasing into Sheridan. Well, that all the way in, and the referee's got a decision to make. That's a yellow card. Simon gestures, walking over with the yellow card. Oops. This is rescinded and here's the back pocket sheridan has been sent off for houston dash to to win that battle put your foot on it look for a little cutback ball or switch to play again through from Ertz for larue larue brought down referee says it's a free kick and that is a yellow card Rather a chance to go up a player. Because it was outside the area, not a yellow. Back pocket, it is a red. Yeah. Straight red card for denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity by Katie Lynn. Well, it's just wonderful recognition from Sydney LaRue. She starts a bit wider, essentially. Oh, and that's a dangerous tackle right there at the top. Yellow card, that's the second. And right here, just the touch gets away from Almer. And that's the right call right there. Labonta gets really changed their style of play. It's turned over. Going down to the box is Pickett, and the referee points to the spot. Looks like Matt Thompson has his decision. We'll see what he comes up with. The referee's going to his pocket. And this is going to be a straight red card. Denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. Kelly Hubley is sent off. And now to Fox. Fox with pressure on from St. George. St. George gets goal side a little uh -oh. tug. Wow. It's almost what you thought initially, Jordan, right? Initially, I, I was thinking, I put my arm up. I, I thought that that was going to be a red card because this is the positioning of 
Emily Fox alongside Bianca St. George. She's behind her. There's no player really. And the direction of play was St. George in a position to score. To me, yes. We'll see. I, I, I think this is going to be a red card. That was a quick look. That was a quick look at the monitor. No yellow card, and now here is the red given to Emily Fox. So here's the mistouch by Fox. She sets it up for St. George, pulls her by the jersey, denies her. Marta now has multiple eight chance created games since coming into the league since she arrived five years ago. Only one other player has done that. Balls her the target, contact. Is this the type of game that we are in store for today, Mike? Straight red, and it's the kind of game with just 10 players for the pride from here. Wow, that's a beautiful ball played in behind. Balser, who we've been talking about so much already, times the run well, able to get in behind. That is a goal-scoring opportunity as Balser was taking that touch around Morehouse. And a misplay by Alozia. Hill comes together. A decision here for the referee. It's a straight red card. Well, and the question will be, is if she's certainly the last line of defense, and she is, as we see that bigger picture, the right call as Rachel Hill could have been in on goal. It's intended for Lucy. It's coming back the other way. Berkeley has to be strong here. Let Adriana get by, and then brought her down. Cards coming, and that was back pocket red. Denial of the goal scoring opportunity. On this first touch here, you see, cuts off Berkeley with the first touch, is going to goal, and then in the back, Berkeley fouls. You can get another look at it again here. That left arm just grabs and knocks down Adriana, who's absolutely in a goal scoring position and headed to net, but no hesitation. The red this time. Trouble dealing. Oh, well, Rain defensively ahead to Caroline, sprinting forward. Cook racing to get back. Caroline in the area, gets tripped. And we're going to see a red card. Alana Cook is out of the match. She was the last line of defense for the Seattle side. A handful of times across Lee. That's a beautiful ball played in by Manaka. Very heads up play to serve that early into Caroline. Caroline in behind. Attacking goal in a goal scoring position in front, brought down from behind by Alana Cook. Absolutely a foul. Absolutely. Awesome. Have added a second goal. Yasmin Ryan. Awesome looking really strong from the fair spot in the middle. In as well. And now some pushing and shoving. Rodman and O'Sullivan. Will this be the end of the day for Trinity Rodman? Card is waved away. He is going to his back pocket. Rodman is off. Made this predictable for themselves all game long. And Bennett to over the top. Oh, and it's there. Oh, what an opportunity from Rose Laval with virtually the last kick of the game. Everybody stopped with two rain players down injured. And also Mitch Purse. The play continued. And my goodness. Gotham were living dangerously there. Christina Uncle. Checking to see whether or not the contact happened outside. And here it is. It's very clear. It's outside of the penalty area. The question is now whether the VAR broadly will be sending that down for potential denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity. The check is occurring at this moment. Uh, it has not yet been checked complete, but that will be the question. Was this a denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity behind by the hand? Ball is not yet in play. They're still checking for that. My opinion on this one, based off if it would should be sent down for a denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity. And a red card should be issued for the handling offense. Kacha referee Kacha Korleva is going to take a look at the monitor now. Drama in stoppage time at the end of stoppage time as Katya Koroleva is called over to the monitor by the VAR Kevin Broadley with the suggestion that this is indeed 
a clear and obvious error from the officials and that that is a handball by the goalkeeper outside the penalty area with Elise Bennett bearing down on goal and denying Bennett and Rain an obvious goal scoring opportunity let's see what Koroleva has decided it is indeed a free kick on the edge of the box and the fact that Gotham have